Whenever you see people in the entertainment industry willing to call out other people's behavior in the entertainment industry, it always makes you stop and think, even if you have no idea what these people politics or whatever they might think. But if they're saying something that goes a little counterintuitive to what everybody else has said or done in Hollywood, it always kind of stands out. And Mila Kunis did that the other day, surrounding the actions that Will Smith took, but more so, not just the actions of Will Smith slapping Chris Rock, but the rest of Hollywood standing and applauding him just minutes after he did it. Mila Kunis, Will Smith getting standing ovation at Oscars after slapping Chris Rock was insane and shocking. And I will never get tired of seeing that, seeing that in thumbnails everywhere. The slap heard around the world. Hollywood star Mila Kunis has slammed her fellow celebrities for giving Will Smith a standing ovation at the Academy Awards just after Smith assaulted Chris Rock live on stage. Mila Kunis spoke to C Magazine about attending the Oscars ceremony in March. She and her husband noticeably stayed seated when Smith accepted the Best Actor Award for his performance as the father of tennis greats Serena and Venus Williams and King Richard. The idea of leading by example, Kunis told the magazine, only makes sense when you actually have someone to lead. We have our tiny little tribe here at home, and never once do I want to tell them to do something if I'm not willing to do it myself. Not standing up to me was a no-brainer, but what was shocking to me was how many people did stand up. The Family Guy actress added, I thought, wow, what a time we're living in that rather than do what's right, people focus on doing what looks good. It's insane to me. And uh, here's that C Magazine where she gave the uh, where she gave the interview. And it's interesting. Like I said, whenever you see people in the entertainment industry kind of leave that little bubble for a moment and actually be critical of everybody else that's there, looking around as all these fucking people are clapping and applauding just, what, 30 minutes, 45 minutes after Will Smith walked up on stage after a joke, after a fucking joke from a comedian, Chris Rock, at a show doing his job, he walks up slashes him across the fucking face and loses his mind. But the rest of Hollywood is fine with idolizing that. The rest of Hollywood is fine with people not being held responsible for their actions. Will Smith's on his comeback tour, uh, announced that he's going to be an emancipation. Nothing like getting Hollywood back on your side by doing a slave movie, right? Uh, well, I mean, Viola Davis can speak for herself, although I'm not sure that one has worked out the way that people wanted it to. But when it does come to Mila Kunis, what she's saying, I agree agree with that. It was shocking to see people clapping. It, it, this is Hollywood after all. We have very low expectations, but I imagine be in the room at that time and to just witness what's happened. It's pretty uncomfortable. The fact that this guy's going back up there to speak after it happened, but that every single motherfucker in woke Hollywood is sitting there clapping him after he slaps Chris Rock in the face. What a weird fucking situation to be in. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Don't know if we're going to be seeing Will Smith at the Oscars in any time soon, but I did think the commentary from Mila Kunis was very, very interesting, especially in an era where it seems like so few people are willing to step outside the woke Hollywood echo chamber. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.